If you're feeling frustrated that your photography Instagram account just isn't growing, then watch this video. It can feel lonely when you pour your heart and soul into a post and then it feels like you're just yelling into a dark chasm of nothingness when you get no results from it. First and foremost, it's not your fault. It's hard to keep up with all the changes that social media makes, but here are some of the things that Instagram has changed that you can use to amplify your reach of your photography posts to actually grow your photography business and your reach and followers. In the past, social media worked like email list. You gathered followers and that amount of followers were able to see the posts that you made. Over time, changes have been made to those social media platforms so that it's not the same way anymore. You have less and less control over what your followers see and in what order that they actually see them in. So while a photo post may not get that much more attention now, you can still grow exponentially using these tips. Now, how has it changed from the format that I just described? Well, TikTok came along and disrupted everything. I call it the TikTokification of social media. So once these other platforms saw what TikTok was doing, instead of going by what followers you have and what they were able to see, everything moved to a topic-based platform and your content was dispersed based on the interest of the people who were looking at their phones. So that is the reason why one post may take off while another one can sit stagnant for years. While that can be really frustrating, I encourage you to dive into the TikTokification and the virality of a lot of these posts and do what I did. Now in just a second, I'm gonna reveal exactly what I did, but first I wanna draw your attention to a free web class about turning your passion for landscape photography into a side hustle. That free web class is linked below in the video description and in the pinned comment for you to check out. So let's look at my phone here. If I go to my profile, you can scroll down to my grid and see some of the things that I've been doing. If you see in my grid, you can see that I have photo posts, I have carousels, and I also have reels. I've been devoting myself to at least two posts per day, but that encourages how much virality I'm able to generate with a lot of these. And you can see, obviously, a lot of these reels have more impact than others, but if I go to my highest performing reel, you can look down at the insights on it and you can see that it has over 55,000 plays, over 2,000 likes, 32 comments, 47 shares, and 108 saves. Now, what does this mean for you? If you look at the amount of shares and saves, that's telling Instagram, hey, disperse this to more people because more people are sharing it. Likes and comments are great, but if you get shares and saves, that's way, way better because that's literally telling Instagram, this person is sharing it with this person, so I think we should disperse it to more people because people like it. Now, if you look at accounts reached here, it's been dispersed to 1,212 followers, while non-followers is over 35,300 at this given moment. I just posted this about two weeks ago, not knowing what was going to happen, but because I was committed to posting more, I was able to get more reach and insight into this post. Now you could easily go in and boost this post into an ad because people have already shown that they like it and have interest in it. And that web class is gonna show you exactly how to do that and why you should use ads. But being able to grow now means that you just have to adopt what's working and the interest-based dispersion of this content. So to create something like this, basically all you have to do is go to your reels, find a video that may work, upload it, and you can add all your text and everything like that. But I think the main dispersion comes in when you go down to add topics. So if you go to add topics, you have a list of topics that you can scroll through and find. Now, obviously for me, it's going to be photography and usually outdoors, landmarks and destinations or just destinations, photography, but you can choose up to three different topics to use in every single reel. Then I'm gonna hit done, and then I'm going to add a location to that as well because that goes into if I'm doing an outdoor destination, then that's going to rank for people who live in that location or have recently visited that location. That's going to increase your dispersion of your posts and not only reels, but also if you're doing single post or photo posts. Now, why I think you should do carousels instead of single posts is because it's going to show different versions of that carousel. So if you have a carousel of 10 different photos in one post, then it's going to show that same post, but a different photo in the carousel every single time. So the same person could be shown that same post 
10 different times in 10 different ways. That's why carousels are so important right now and why you should be using them and also single posts too, just to dabble in there as well. Hey, if you want more photography business tips and how you can grow your photo business, click or tap this playlist showing up on your screen right now because it's gonna help you out a ton.